go to the repo. Say pr.new. All right, let's create a React app from scratch and install Tailwind and Dark Theme. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, so we're just gonna say in the demo folder, npm init y, and yarn add React, React DOM, React scripts. Okay, while that's going, go ahead and create a folder. Make their source, make their public touch public index.html touch source index.js touch source app.js. Okay, that's all we'll need. The package JSON, so you can see if that's done. So I'm not going to touch it. Let's just go in here and create the stuff. Let's say root index. We're going to say get rid of that. Import a React capital R React from Little React. DOM from Little React DOM or app map. And then saying like React DOM render, we're going to say root. So const root equals. We're just going to be really, um, uh, yes, React DOM create root dogma, yes, root render app. We're going to do things on purpose. Okay. All right. So app. Okay. So we're going to say export. Default um, app equals function. I'll just let it create that function for me. And once this is ready, I should be able to just say yarn start. But first, let me add start script in here. This will give me a warning saying, you know, you really should add browser targets. Do you want us to add that for you? And I'll say, sure. Is there anything? Yeah. Okay, so it goes browser list. Da, 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 da. Default. React 18. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Tailwind install. We'll go ahead and Tailwind CSS get started. Framework guide. So create the app and then install as a dev dependency. So yarn add to dev dependency tailwind. all of that here and, uh, last name BG Sky BG Sky
facilities where uh, you are importing create root from React DOM, which is not supported, you should instead import it from React DOM client. Dev dependency prettier, prettier plugin tell in CSS. I also have to go through a little bit of rigmarole here and uh, create a prettier config JS with this touch prettier.config.js. Okay. And we're just going to tell prettier that we have a plugin, Blue Sky, let's say like uh, like padding to um, horizontal four or something, and we save it, it'll automatically switch places. We want to add a toggle to toggle a theme. A button on click. And we're going to do it in three steps. Track theme in state, use effect to trigger uh, local storage update and document document um, class uh, update uh, toggle theme okay function okay. so it's going to be three three steps. Um, the reason why we do it this way is because when we toggle a theme, it'll be trick. It'll be toggling this this uh, state variable, and this will do all the magic of hooking into the lifecycle of of this function's update and automatically doing all of the you know UI update and the local the, with the sync to local storage. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna manually do that. This this is just gonna be a dumb function. This is just this is gonna be a variable. It's not aware of anything. This is a dumb function. It's not aware of anything. This lifecycle event here, event lifecycle event hook, will do all of the UI update whenever this changes. Whenever this changes that. Okay. So we have to say import capital R React from lowercase react and uh, const theme set theme is react use state and this is going actually going to be uh, local storage dot get item theme or I want it to default to So we're going to initialize the theme use state variable with either dark or whatever is in local storage. Toggle theme, here we go. So this doesn't know about toggle theme, yeah, that's why it's breaking. Let me just let me just do a quick no off here with uh, toggle theme. So it doesn't kill this. Okay. Um, yeah, React use effect triggering on theme and we'll go ahead and do the do the things here so the things it wants to do is um, things it want to do is look reach out to local storage here and I'm going to say lo local storage dot set item of theme with whatever the value of the theme is exactly because this will be running when the theme variable changes and this is what's going to toggle that based on this button click okay. so button click runs this this changes this this uh, runs this lifecycle event this hook and this one is going to set 
local storage. Okay, first. And then it's going to say document dot um, document element dot class name first is just an empty string. So we want to clear out whatever is on the document. Um, whatever whatever is here on the HTML tag, if there's any class here, just clear it all out. And then um, and then we're gonna say document yeah document dot document element classless add theme. So whatever it happens to be, whether it's dark or whether it's light. Um, you know, before I even did this, I should have, okay, I should say, okay, let me actually put this out of order to show you what's happening. So when I say dark, oh, you know what? It's one thing I didn't actually do to make all of this possible. Dark mode, okay. Dark mode class, let me say dark mode class. And then if I, and then if we, we can test it right here just by saying like, uh, Dark, uh, dark, BG sky. Oh, okay. It has dark on it already. Somehow, it, oh, you know why? It's from the local storage. Get out of the dark. Okay. Let me, uh, let me just. Should be light now. Oh, it's dark. Okay. Oh, because there was no theme, so I set it to dark. And then document classless add theme. Oh wow. It. Oh man. Okay. That's brutal. Okay. Fine. That works too well, but okay. Okay. The last thing we need to do is to just go ahead and say uh, set theme. Theme is dark and light, light or dark. There you go. I want to add a nice button. Okay, this is a this is a simple toggle from. Um, let's preview it. It's this. React codes, copy that. Okay. All right. What I would like to do is first, I guess, I want to move the, I want to move this code here out of the app and into its own button, and then I want to create a nice slider. So we'll do two things here. We'll say um, uh, uh, toggle. Or just maybe say btn toggle js. Okay. And then we can just import that into the app. Say import uh, btn toggle from components btn toggle. So let's yarn add headless UI react. Okay. What I want to do is take all of this logic out of here. All of this. Now we just need to put this functionality in there. Duh. 
new one, which is going to be BTN toggle. Yes, the BTN toggle. And take the nice, pretty styles here. The logic, basically from here, and I'll just pop it in there. Just gonna do that, and then checked. It's gonna be um, theme equals dark on change toggle toggle theme. Okay, and anywhere you have it enabled, it's just gonna be. Theme equals dark. The button toggle theme and port button toggle theme. ourselves a handy dandy toggle switch. Okay, one last thing we want to do actually vent F U O C. It's something that happens when you refresh the page. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an iffy immediately invoking function expression. And immediately what is it? Iffy I I F E I I F E immediately invoking function expression, right? So the way we do that is by doing two two uh, um, two parentheses and in here we're going to run a function. So we'll do that arrow is that. Okay. And inside this function we're going to say um, mode equals local storage get item Actually, let's let's wrap this in a try catch block. So we're gonna say um, try catch, try catch. Yeah, console log there. Load, then return if not mode return. Then document document element class list add mode. This will prevent FUOC, which is um, some flashing. So it doesn't flash back and forth. Oh, that kind of did. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, you get the picture.